Yester P-series PBX software edition can now be installed on Velter. So you can establish your single instance on a cloud enterprise phone system based on Velter. In this video, we will show you how to make the deployment step by step. If you want to try it out, you can go check description directly to get a 30-day free trial with no payment upfront. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we go to Velter Marketplace and search for Yester. Here we can click on Deploy to go on. Then we can set up our server. In Choose Server, we can select the server based on our requirements. Cloud Compute or Optimized Cloud Compute should be sufficient for our phone system. If we choose Optimized Cloud Compute, we can go with General Purpose. No need to choose others as they are overkill for a phone system. And if we choose Cloud Compute, we recommend Intel High Performance. Then we can choose the nearest server. And we can specify the server image of Yester P-Series phone system. Now we can go on to choose the server size for our P-Series phone system. You can choose the size according to this form. So the server comes with enough capacity for the phone system and in the meantime, cost is as reasonable as possible. Then there are some additional features available on Velter. You can choose to enable them if needed. For the next step, we can set up the IP address for the server. If the default IP address is OK, we choose to sign a new IP. Or we can also specify an existing IP address in the drop-down list. Then we can name this server and click Deploy Now. At this step, we will see the server is running, which means that the server setting is done successfully. Here we can continue to finish the network settings for the P-Series PBX software edition. We go to Products, Find Compute, and find our server. Here we will find the public IP address of the created server. We can click to copy it. Now we can directly access this IP address. Here we entered the PBX network parameters. In the LAN section, we choose DHCP. We keep the rest as default and choose Next. Now we will see a pop-up to indicate us to restart the PBX. Click on Yes to confirm. Now we can enter the PBX again with the public IP address. We will see another pop-up showing us the status of all these services and access. We will see that all access is working fine, except for a red exclaiming mark on connection with LAN. Don't worry about it, it's normal. We click on Ignore Issue to move on. Now the P-Series PBX is installed, and we can go on to activate the PBX. If you apply for a free trial, you will receive an email with an activation code. We can go to the public IP address and then choose Online Activation. Put in the activation code and activate the PBX. Now the P-Series PBX is officially installed and activated. Now we can start configuring the PBX. Okay. This is how to install your P-Series PBX on Volter. If you prefer a document to lead you through the configuration, we have prepared the manual for you in the description. Go check and download it. Once again, if you want to try our P-Series PBX on Volter, please don't forget to apply for the 30-day free trial in the description. And uh, hope you guys like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.